tool is going to enter in the fork, it's going to strike the fork, and we're going to unlock the watch. We see over here the tooth of the coaxial wheel unlock on jewel number one, as we see it right now. So as we continue our unlocking, we're going to see the tooth of the coaxial wheel come free of that jewel. We're going to see this tooth of the coaxial wheel coming forward then to deliver the impulse directly to the balance wheel through the rectangular jewel on the balance. The impulse is now being delivered to the balance wheel. We're going to see the tooth completing its impulse. We're just about at the point where the tooth is coming off of the impulse surface. When that happens, we'll see this tooth of the coaxial coming forward to lock on jewel number three. Now we'll see the counterclockwise rotation of the balance. Again, the D-shaped jewel enters into the fork, strikes the fork, and we'll see the unlocking occurring here on jewel number three tooth will unlock. At the point that the tooth comes free, what we'll see is this tooth of the pinion coming forward to deliver the impulse to the central jewel of the palate. There's our impulse being delivered now. This continues until the tooth comes free of the impulse surface, and we'll see this tooth of the coaxial coming forward to lock on jewel number one. There's the position.